that's way too much work. I'm getting back on the road. First batch of the new popcorn maker, guys. I uh, hear some popping going on. Starting to steam up a little bit in there. You wouldn't like it, guys. It's delicious. Holy. Go ahead and tip her over. Pour all the rest out of there. Yep, good morning, guys. Got the old popcorn maker uh, all cleaned up after its first use. Was a lot of fun. Been a few new additions to the house here, but uh, don't worry. Uh, actually, last night was my last night here. Getting back in the RV, Jackson and I are loading up. We're getting on the road, and eventually we're going to be heading north. So I've just been doing some last-minute last, last minute stuff here in the house. Having a cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> Homeowner. <laughs> yep, yep. So, got everything wrapped up here. Uh, I've talked about this in the past. I'm not going to go into specifics about my home security system. The alarms, I mean, you've seen a couple things like motion sensors. Now you'll see cameras, uh, cameras in the house, cameras covering the exterior of the house as well. All of my cameras are hooked into the cloud online so I can remote view from my phone. And the biggest thing you'll probably notice if you don't follow me on Patreon is some living room changes. Some pretty cool living room changes, in fact. Yeah, Sean and Jill came down and uh, we hung out and we went over to Big Lots and I, I actually rented a U-Haul truck once I saw what Big Lots had. Got the gray couch over there that matches the curtains. Isn't that crazy? And a clearance rug. And I mean, this rug really tied the room together. <laughs> Big Lebowski, yeah. So I have a really neat living room. They do have a, a matching love seat in stock. They have it, it's not in stock though. I may get the matching love seat of the couch and put that here later we'll see but it has been nice the last couple days having an actual living room here and the and the end table matching end table here coffee table jex has thoroughly been enjoying his cat toys and running around the house yeah yeah let's see oh my buddy is uh sean and jill got me these two pillows home is where you poop most comfortably obviously and let's see over in the kitchen they also got me this really nice housewarming package I love the red and black kitchen themes here. Mickey Mouse stuff in there. It, all the silverware and utensils I need for my new house. They also got me a nice card and a candle. Look at that scent, guys. Mm-hmm. You wanna smell that one? No, it actually smells really nice. I, I haven't burned it yet. I'll, I'll, I'll try it out later. And uh, my friend Vanessa, Destination Storm, got me the neat little American Diner Route 66 plaque there and a a Route 66 salt and pepper organizer there for the stove. And, and literally just as I'm getting all comfortable and starting to get everything I need, I'm hitting the road. That's okay. That was, uh, <laughs> that was the whole point of all this was the fact that I got a chance to get the house I wanted and everything. And now I have a home base to come back to. If anything ever happens out on the road, guys, I always have this to come back to. But I'm still a nomad, despite... Everybody screaming and hollering at me. <laughs> uh, I'm still a nomad and I'm still getting back on the road <laughs> and we're gonna go travel together. So, um, yeah, actually, let me show you a couple things uh, outside, back porch. Nothing crazy out here, but again, I got every corner of the house covered. But we did get to fire up the old barbecue grill here for a little cookout. There's the top sirloin steaks. And there's the pork chops. You wouldn't like it, guys. You just wouldn't. That was awesome. And I picked up a lawnmower and weed eater. Already mowed my entire grass out here, guys. So just uh, getting ready to lock everything back up in the shed over there for the season until I come back this fall. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Anything else going on? No, not really. Gonna shut off the water myself here at the main. 
The main is right on the other side of the camera over there. So I will shut off my water, but I'll keep my natural gas on. So gas will stay on even though there's no real, yeah, don't need it. And I already turned the uh, water heater off, turned the pilot and everything off and drained the water heater. Even for just six months, I don't want the water getting stagnant inside the water heater. So, boy, this is pretty weird for me. Is this weird for you? Has it been strange to follow me the last couple weeks? Probably has. But like I keep saying, there's a method to my madness, guys. Uh, I have a plan and uh, nothing, nothing changes here on the Nomadic Fanatic channel starting in my next video. So, so don't worry, okay? Yeah. This cat is so funny though, look at this. He sleeps in the house bathroom sink just like he does in the RV. Oh my goodness, him's so precious. Him's also very pooped out, huh? Yes, you've been getting your exercise in the house. I think he's actually ready to hit the road though. I think we're both really, really ready. Oh, Sean and Jill also got me blue matching towels and stuff for the bathroom to match my, my blue scheme in here. Yeah, but okay. And here we are in the master bedroom, the only room I really didn't do anything to, but <laughs> probably this fall, things will start opening back up and I'll have a chance to furnish the bedroom. Yeah. We'll go out in the front porch here real quick. One more thing about security. I have to say this, I guess. Because it has been brought to my attention that some people out there may know where I live. Wonderful. But guys, <laughs> don't be stupid, please. I shouldn't have to warn the world of this, but think before you do anything stupid, okay? Please, don't be dumb, okay? <laughs> that should be all that needs to be said, right? If you're dumb, you're gonna get everything that's coming to you. It's all I'm gonna say. It looks like it might rain on me while I'm packing up the last few things. Don't let me forget Jack's in the bathroom. <sighs> okay, bye house. See you this fall. Just started pouring. I'm gonna take my time load, loading up here. It's a little moist. Thanks, Illinois. <laughs> However, I do at least want to point out it's pretty peaceful here on the front porch with the cover. You know, just hearing the rain and not having to actually deal with the rain. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, we'll get on the road here in a little bit. Okay, well the rain is supposed to stop tonight once it gets dark, so I'm gonna hold off on packing up the RV until the rain stops. And then I'll probably leave tonight at dark. Uh, by, by the way, we're pretty much live. I do hope to get this video edited and uploaded later today. It is Sunday, May 17th. <laughs> Same day most of you are probably gonna be uh, viewing this, this video. Uh, NASCAR is back today. We're actually racing today. Well, with without fans, but uh, no, they're gonna they're they're gonna race, and everybody's wearing masks that are out there on the track and everything. And uh, yeah, so that actually worked. I kind of forgot about it, and I've been kind of hating on NASCAR last last couple months because how they treat their fans. But eh, I'll sit here and and enjoy a finally a real NASCAR race on a Sunday in 2020. Okay. And I'll edit the video while I'm watching it and get this uploaded here shortly. Okay, guys? Have a wonderful uh, rest of your last little bit of weekend here. And Jackson, I'll see you back on the road here really, really, really soon. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.